This morning, a pregnant woman and her three year old son are scheduled to be deported from KCI this morning back to Honduras. Overnight, a group of people gathered together in support of this family. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson live at the ICE office in the Northland with more on what's next and exactly what happened this morning. Mackenzie. Yeah, that's right. Well, early this morning, dozens of people were here peacefully protesting. Now, this is the Enforcement Removal Operations Building. People held signs and they chanted in support of Kenia Batista, a six months pregnant woman and her three year old son, Noah. In May, Kenia was taken into custody by ICE after a traffic stop just outside of Kansas City. She came to the U.S. in 2016. There were suspected allegations that she left Honduras because of an abusive marriage. She has been in the Platte County Jail until today. I'm told that her attorney's legal appeal was denied yesterday and supporters were here this morning. They say they're upset with the system. What do I want to see happen is uh, uh, an abolish of ICE at this point. Um, it is a rogue institution that is ripping our families apart. Now, we did not see Kania here this morning, but her son Noah was here, and I'm told they were to reunite here at this location and then take off to the airport where they will later be in Honduras. Reporting live in Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News Today.